today some great contestants. We have a wonderful area contest. I want to thank my area governors in particular for putting all this together. So let's please give the Northwest Area Governors a round of applause.
Everyone is aware of the Toastmaster international rules that govern this contest. No one should enter or leave the room during the contestants' presentations. You might do so if time permits during the one minute of silence between presentations. Thank you. With that said, let the contest begin. This time I will give the speaking order for the table topic contest at this time. There are seven contestants for table topic speeches. Contestant number one, Abby Indiana Moway. We'll clap after all. I am not so Thank you. Contestant number two, Gina Kotz. Contestant number three, Amy Staska. Contestant number four, Romeo Gimeno. Contestant number five, Barry Mixon. And contestant number seven, Hank Bergman. Six. Number six. Number six. Sorry. Tom Pedrick. Tom Pedrick at number six. And Hank Bergman at number seven. Not Maria. Yeah, Maria's gone. According to this printout, he's a substitute for Maria Mattarelli. Maria Mattarelli is not able to compete, and Hank Bergman is a substitute for Maria Mattarelli. Number seven. Hank Bergman, sorry. Hank Bergman? Hank Bergman. H A N K. And the last name is P E R G M A N. Hank Bergman. At this time, I would like to ask Mr. Sergeant at Arms to escort all the table <coughs> contestants out of the room except the first contestant. Judges will be given all the time they need to complete their ballots. We will now begin the table topic contest. Table topic contested number one, Abby Indiana Moway. What is the worst hairstyle fashion mistake you've ever made? <laughs> Abby Indiana Moway.
I remember it just like yesterday. Fresh out of high school, Jerry Cowers had just come into my country, Africa. They told me it was never going to hurt, except that all the girls would be trailing behind me. <laughs> of course, that was exciting, you know, and I looked forward to it. But what I never knew was that I was going to be keeping my hair without washing it for weeks and months. Yes. What a fashion mystic. Jerry Coyles. <laughs> you all know the popular Vaseline on the shelves of Walmart? Guess what? I had two whole jars of that on my head. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not. And about the girls? Oh no, nobody chased me. <laughs> nobody came along. <laughs> Except for my dad, who ensured that every drain to the last drop of hair was cut down. <laughs> and what do you think that would make me? The one person that nobody would ever go after. But I tell you, that was a good question. And I loved every minute of those two days. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Tosposter. Contestant number two, Gina Cox. What is the worst <coughs> hairstyle or fashion mistake you've ever made? What is the worst hairstyle or fashion mistake you've ever made? <coughs> Gina Cox. <coughs> Never again. 
Mr. Tableton. Table topic contested number three, Amy Staska. What is the worst hairstyle or fashion mistake you've ever made? What is the worst hairstyle or fashion mistake you've ever made? Amy Staska. <laughs>
Table topic contestant number four, Romeo Gimino. What is the worst hairstyle or fashion mistake you've ever made? What is the worst hairstyle or fashion mistake you've ever made? Romeo Gimino. bell bottom pants, right? And the platform shoes. So I would now my, my, my bell bottom pants are so wide I had to actually buy my own cloth and say add about another foot. <laughs> I said, what what do you mean? You want you want another foot? He said yeah but most people are able to to do with this regularness. I said no give me another foot. You know how wide my bell bottom pants are? Probably 15 inches, right? Oh. I want it so wide, I want to cover the platform shoes because if they see me wearing the platform shoes, they would obviously know that I am using the platform shoes to increase my five, three and a half. <laughs> so the, 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 the bell bottom pants cover the platform shoes and the platform shoes increase my height. So they, they go together as a pair. So I got platform shoes so wide when I when I lose weight and my pants fall down, I literally sweep the dirt off the floor. I have a vacuum cleaner of sorts, right? And, uh, and it's funny, you know, when, when, when your bell-bottom pants are so wide, somehow it makes you look a bit more, more in weight. I don't know why, because if they're so wide that people think, oh, Robbie, did, did you gain some weight? No, no, it's maybe my pants. Now, <laughs> Now the second thing is the platform shoes, right? My platform shoes, because I'm five feet and a half, I need at least two inches. So my platform shoe was two and a half inches this high, right? Two and a half inches. And because if you have all leather soles, that will become so heavy, right? So I chose platform shoes with the lightest wood that you can ever find. I don't know what they call it, maybe sandalwood, right? Sandalwood platform shoes. Now they were they were so light, and they were they were great because sometimes you need to to run and, and get to your meetings right away. So my best decision, my worst decision was platform shoes and wide bell bottom pants. Thank you. Table contestant number five, Barry Mason. What is the worst hairstyle or fashion mistake you've ever made? What is the worst hairstyle or fashion mistake you've ever made? Barry Mason.
things that you see on TV, the afro is perfectly formed. Well, when you have kind of, let's say, special hair, it only looks that good when you leave the barber shop. <laughs> After that, you have to start using your afro sheen, your afro clean, and the picks. It just doesn't work like that. So it looks good for about an hour. Then after that, it looks all like, you know, uh, let's say, Kunta Kente. Yeah, like that. <laughs> and the problem was, all my friends had the cool afros. So here I have all the naps and everything else, and it just didn't work. So after a while, I went to the Marine Corps. We got the high and tight, kind of like what Prez has, just a little closer on the side. <laughs> that worked for me. Just, problem is that you had regulations. You had to have a certain height, and then I looked like a Mohegan, when you just coming down like that. And then one day, then they had the fade. And the fade didn't really make sense, because my hair grows really fast, so I was great. I was paying $15 to $20 to get hair cut off. Didn't make sense to me. So one day I was watching the San Francisco 49ers, and Jerry Rice took off his helmet, and he had all his hair cut off. And I was like, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the girl I was dating at the time said, baby, hold on for a second. Went back, mm, mm, mm. I'm set. So now I watch commercials on TV, you know, about oh hell the prail and all this other stuff. Not me. I got up this morning, I got a contest. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm ready for everything. It could be a tornado. Everyone's like, oh, my hair. I'm like, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> so this has been an evolution, and you're seeing the final result. Mr. Table. Contestants number six, Tom Patrick. What is the worst hairstyle or fashion mistake you've ever made? What is the worst hairstyle or fashion mistake you've ever made? Tom Patrick. Distinguished guest. A man this tall cannot have any fashion. <laughs> I am invisible. I cannot go where you go. I cannot. Kmart does not believe in me. <laughs> Walmart doesn't believe in me. JC Penny no longer believes in me. I am a fashion food pop. <laughs> Standing every day, all the time. But I'll tell you, being a fashionable person is really difficult. For example, who can I borrow? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want to try this sleeve on? <laughs> oh, that's right. This isn't a jacket, this is a tent to some of you. <laughs> I come well equipped. Truly I do. I love this. I have to pay twice as much for the clothes that Rudy has, <laughs> and I only get half the value. I don't understand this. I truly don't. So fashion poopa? When did I have a fashion poopa? Let me tell you. Let me see. Oh, that's right. Uh, I did check out my socks. They're both black. But that's a long way down the look. <laughs> 
All right, the colors today. Oh, let's see. Um, does orange and green really go? Does white go with it as well? But let me tell you, the orange is for my father's name, Protestant Irish. The green is for my mother, Southern Irish, Catholic. And if you think Northern Ireland was bad, you should see my house on a Saturday night when my father had to argue whether or not he was going to go to church that night or the next night. <laughs> so I'm on my way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Fupa or not. <laughs> Topic contestant number seven, Hank Bergman. What is the worst hairstyle or fashion statement, fashion mistake you've ever made? What is the worst hairstyle or fashion mistake you've ever made? Hank Bergman. short shorts because it was so hot one day and I just thought of cutting up the, the pants and was always uneven so I always had to cut off the other side. <laughs> <laughs> but to turn it all upside down to think what was my worst fashion mistake, I think the best fashion mistake, best fashion mistake, wait, wait, that's an oxymoron. The best fashion decision I ever made was to grow my beard. I figured if I was going to go ball, it would do one or two things. I would be able to always get my money's worth on a haircut. <laughs> and I would always be able to have something to talk about and something to do with the scissors. <laughs> Thank you all.
the judges submitted their ballots. Thank you.